but well hold on don't you make a mess even even in hell we want to have bathrooms oh what's going on everybody Z here and welcome to a new game to a this is a prologue game and this is called hell architect so uh viewer discretion advised i guess because i mean you're designing a hell type game but it looks kind of neat looks kind of fun uh and i do want to say that by default things are disabled um there is like a, a nudity filter that you can like have disabled but i don't think it's like it's not like full-on like graphical kind of stuff i think it's like just little bits and bobs anyways it's all disabled we should be good to go we're gonna hop on in and check this out hopefully you guys enjoy if you do like subscribe all fun things i will have a link down below if you want to check out the game um scenario tutorial prologue oh should i play the tutorial first This is your first year task. Uh, Beezlebub wants a statue of himself built and he's going to get one. Oh, you know, maybe I should do the tutorial first. Oh, select the difficulty level. Heaven, Hell, Inferno. Oh, we're not doing Inferno. We're just going to do a normal mode. All right. So this is our first check out of this. I'm curious. It kind of looks like oxygen not included. Uh, I'm Frank and I'm going to train you for junior hell manager. Okay. Uh, thanks, Frank. Let's start with essentials. Our currency is suffering, obtained by torturing sinners. Okay. It's suffering that makes everything work here in hell. And awesome. some technicalities. Use middle click or WASD keys to navigate through your hell. Use left click or right click to select or cancel respectively. For more details, go to controls and then options. Got it. Okay, get to work. Dig some dirt, coal, and metal. Click on the dig icon on the bottom of the screen and then point to relevant tiles on the map. Okay. So, uh, dig up seven pieces of dirt. Base resources. Click dirt 32. Click coal. Big metal ore. Small coal, big coal. Okay, so, dig. Now, I'm going to guess that they can't get to these, right? So, we're going to have to do that mm -hmm. oh this is super cool oh my gosh this is almost like an auction not included like s type game but it doesn't look like maybe we're not gonna have food drink maybe we won't have to worry about like oxygen because that was always my problem was like auction not included gets very hard very fast okay so that's super cool uh let's go ahead and grab those as well oh my gosh this could be so much fun this is so exciting. I'm so excited for this. Okay, so you can see our little dudes. They have little leaves on. Okay, so we're good. We're good. But that's what I'm saying. Like, it's not going to be, like, super graphical, so it's, I'm not really worried about it. Um, Suffering 100. So, like, that's how everything runs. Okay, so we have to create suffering. Then we have time until next sinner. 8 minutes and 42 seconds. Got it. Can we cancel these? Oh, I can't cancel those. Dig. What if I hit him again? No. Uh, oh, cancel. To build something, just click on the build icon, choose a category, and then an actual object you need. For now, choose the basic category. Basic you category. Find ladders and floor segments there. Okay. So, build. Basic. Ladder. Floor. The forbidden fruit! <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, so what do I want to do here? Floor? Simply provides a stable foundation. Okay. Build. So, oh, it has to be like up like this. Okay, well, let's do this. Okay, do that. Build basic ladder. Not enough resources. What if I cancel that one? Oh, shoot. I didn't pay attention. Uh, get some light. Build a torch. Okay, build. Uh, basic. Decorations. Torch. Build. Oh, it just hangs like on the back wall kind of deal. Okay, so build that. Oh, but they can't get up there. So what do we need to uh, to build that ladder? What, what did they actually need for that? So basic ladder. 
What material is that? Is that dirt? Build. Yes, it is dirt. Okay, so dig. You guys can go ahead and go to work on that stuff. So dirt is the main resource. Main resource. Okay. Open it. See more details by left clicking on any of the centers. Uh. Up there is sanity. It indicates the center's level and goes automatically during the torture. Uh, the better a torture is suited to us, <coughs> the faster sanity increases. Wait, wait, wait. So sanity is good? At the top, there's sanity. It indicates a center's level and grows automatically during torturing. The better the a torture is suited to a center, the more suffering is produced. Okay. And now, something interns are always waiting for. Tortures. One of the simplest torture now, devices is Iron Maiden. Oh my god! Is Iron Maiden. Let's start with that. Start with collecting the resources required to build it. Okay. You already have all the required resources. Build an Iron Maiden. You'll find and it among, you'll among the torture devices the in the torture category. Oh my gosh, Iron Maiden, that's so funny. Uh, okay, well, I mean, it's not really funny, but I mean, for the sake of the game, all right? Let's just put aside all of our all of our things and just understand that this is a video game. Okay, okay. <laughs> that's gonna go there. Um, build, I wanna get another ladder in there. Put that there. And then I wanna dig this out, and then I also wanna put floors in all right here, I think. So I'm hoping that yeah, there's no Every oxygen. Building, oh my gosh! Have their own cards. Click on Iron Maiden for more information. Okay. Got it. Now look at the empty sim slot at the bottom. Click on the green plus symbol to assign the first sinner and start generating suffering. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, is it Adam and Eve? Oh, Abel, Eve, and Matthew. Oh my gosh, that is uh, that is kind of nasty looking. <laughs> Look at the empty sims on the bottom. Okay, okay, I got it. Hey, William, we're making stuff. Okay, hold on, I can't hear. There's too much going on. Sim silhouettes, value of the ongoing cycle, and a corresponding icon. Okay, I turned down sounds a little bit so we can actually hear because it was really loud, and I also got rid of the blood going everywhere because it was a little, uh, little, uh, little much. Because <laughs> you know, I, it doesn't even crazy. <gasps> That's awesome. Uh, Eve. Okay, so cycle zero of eight, so it takes eight cycles to produce. Production of starting is going well. Let's discuss a second. Look at the cycle block in the middle of the card from the left. We can see sim silhouettes, value of ongoing cycle, and corresponding icon. This element gives you information about the cycle and process structure. Tiredness, structure increase sinners fatigue, this increase sinners. Oh, this structure fills sinners bladders. Okay. Below the cycle is the sinners panel. As you already know, clicking on uh -huh. under an empty portrait will make one of the sinners come to do your bidding. The sinners must sleep on something. For now, a paper box will do. It is cheap, but uncomfortable. The subordinates get up as soon as they reach the yellow bar. Mm. What? Something more comfortable? Sure. Surely <laughs> this is hell. It is not a place of luxuries. Think about improvements once you reach a higher status. If you even make it to that point. Okay. So, sinners need to sleep. Collect dirt and collect coal. All right, so should I end the suffering? I mean, I guess not. I guess we just let them suffer it up. Uh, I mean, they're looking solid, so. All right, cool. Let's uh, let's start digging some stuff up. So we need what? Dirt and coal. There's a bunch of coal right here. So let's go ahead and grab these. We'll grab those. Uh, we need to get to up here too. We need to get more floors going. This is I I so I like the uh, I like the base building aspect of this already. I do. It's pretty uh, it's pretty funny. You want a private builder? What is that supposed to be? You will place this big box, and you will do it now. Uh okay. So we need to build basic forbidden fruit. Is there more? No food, drink. Oh rest. Uh paper box. 
the the cardboard box structure provides a breath breathability while you sleep uh you know what no, no 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 let's do this wait this is just the tutorial though huh um let's build basic this and let's get those in here we're gonna dig this out like that and then we're going to build some ladders going up there and then we'll build a box well once these are built there all right so there's our sleep box <laughs> it's just a box it's so funny Time to get acquainted with the provide card. DIY bed. It's a quaint it's time to get acquainted with the provide card. Click on the paper box. Okay. You already know how the cycles work, so we'll not discuss them. The differences. Uh, okay, so we need to add somebody to this. The number of sins does not affect the duration of the cycle. It is always the same. Got it. Time to construct simple drink. You'll find it in the uh, drink, drink category. Uh, Got it. Okay, so now we need to build drink a simple latrine. Uh, we should put that down here. Let's get this stuff cleared out. All right, so drink this there. One simple latrine. So what do we actually use the suffering for? Hmm. I kind of wish there was a way to turn down these machines, like, uh, audio wise, because, like, they're really. Uh, oh, wait. Base amount, modifier sin, that, that, that. Is there a way to, like, turn. Oh, and they're done. Whew. They got to go to the bathroom. Okay, they're about. Well, hold on. Don't you make a mess. Even, even in hell, we want to have bathrooms. Uh, we actually require some excrements in a moment, so assign a center to make some. Use the left mouse button to drag and drop a center on the little train. Drinks. It's time to build a machine that converts excrement, excrement into, dirty, into water. dirty water. Oh my gosh, a water squeezer! A water squeezer! Mm -hmm. Building full. Okay, hurry up and yeah. Oh my gosh, everybody's going now. Let's go! No newspapers in hell. Let's go! <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> Uh, collect metal. Okay, we gotta collect some more metal here. Um, there's a bunch of metal right here. Let's dig this out, I guess. And then... See, they're gonna need to be able to get in here somehow, so that should work. Alright, good to go. Wait, are you... You're gonna go back to the... She just willingly went back to the Iron Maiden to get tortured. What the heck? <laughs> this is so weird. Oh, it's so weird. Okay, so I turned the sounds off. So, my fellow worm. Because I just... The, the, it's, I kind of wish the machines... There was like a separate dialogue or separate volume for machines like this. Because like that just kind of gets... It gets loud. Especially when you're close to it. It's really loud. So, uh, build a water squeezer now. Okay. Build a uh, drink water squeezer build let's see we'll put that there looks good see i don't like having the sound stable because i can't hear any, like the little clicky bits you know are you guys stuck down here might be stuck down here uh no they're probably fine there you go buds there you go so yeah uh dirt coal metal ingredients food and drink Interesting. I like this so far. This is uh, it's very oxygen not included esque with like the building style, and I like that. All right, so we have to assign someone to work here. So water squeezer, assign somebody. So they're gonna squeeze water excrement at water out of excrement. Okay. All right. I mean, I guess it is what it is, right? Because Got it. it is a manufacturer structure, we already have skills. At the moment of assigning a worker, a sinner matching the structure skill will be selected. 
it's possible. Got it. If there's a large exclamation mark in the upper right corner of the building, it means a lack of resources. And a lack of resources will not allow you to assign a character to a building. Okay. The will work until one of their needs falls into the red zone. If that happens, they'll stop working to satisfy that particular need. Afterwards, they will return to work on their own, but only if several conditions are met. Got it. Be sure to always have structures that satisfy needs. If a specific structure is not placed or is occupied, the sim will stop working and wait for it to be built or become vacant. A yellow icon will appear above the structure, showing that there are no workers. It's time to find out what everyone in hell is drinking. For now, we will use a metal bucket, which, just like the paper box, meets the needs of the yellow field only. Time to collect the necessary resources. Do not make me wait long. Got now, it. The bucket will not just appear from thin air. Place, Place it down, down before you really raise my blood pressure. Okay. Uh, build metal drinking bucket. Okay, so build, drink, metal bucket. Build. Uh... I guess right here. Sure. Okay. We built that. Now, everybody says they're hungry. So we have to f we have to give them food and water. They have to be able to use the bathroom, but then they willingly go and get tortured to get suffering. This is super weird. I just you know it's okay. <laughs> it is what it is, I guess. What about food, you ask? Well, the ingredients are provided by Flesh Farm, a structure oh. of the production category. Go and collect resources needed to build it. A flesh farm? Excuse me, what? This sounds awful. This sounds terrible. Um, is that a torture? No. Flesh farm. I'm missing five coal. Okay, let's make that happen. All right, one flesh farm coming up. Uh... Oh, that looks nasty. That looks just nasty. All right. Click on the completed structure. Ew. I will explain the details as it differs quite a bit. Base amount five per cycle. This is okay. the only card that is different from the others. Production type structures are the only ones which do not require sinners. It works as soon as it's built. Okay. Due to this, in place of cycle, there is process. The rest is unchanged. Oh, there are no sim profiles here too. I think you understand the situation. Right. Food needs to be processed and delivered as well. We use the cauldron for processing. You can cook on it using fire. Okay. Go grab the resources needed for it. All right. So food. Okay. Got it. Build a cauldron. Okay. So a cauldron. So there's that. So this is like passive. We just, this is just passively getting food. However, uses three dirt to produce. This building produces five meat. So, it's going to utilize dirt to produce meat, but it's only three dirt to five meat. So that's, I mean, it's not terrible, but I mean, if you had a bunch of them, you'd be losing a lot of dirt. So we'd have to be mining quite a bit. Unless there's a way to like, you know, get food a different way. I don't know. All right, so we got to build a trough because <laughs> that's how we feed them. <laughs> it's pretty funny. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> um... We'll put the trough right there. But they got this area too. We're <laughs> they eat out of a trough. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. I don't know why. So does this thing require a center? Oh, it does. Waiting for a free center. Okay. The card and the management for the metal bucket is similar to that of cauldrons and paper boxes. Take a look at your own ledger. Okay, so now I think they'll automatically place themselves there when they're hungry right yeah they do because look at we had food they start eating it got it okay one smelly plus 10 smelly give okay listen now i've just received information from the hr department they're, they're quite pleased with quite you in this case the final test is on you first collect the necessary resources collect suffering 352 out of 400. uh well we're already at 352 out of 400 so i don't think we're gonna have any issues with that and then we're gonna be tutorial complete and then we're gonna be able to start our very own hell oh my gosh this is gonna be amazing so do we have like i don't think there's like any liquids i'm pretty sure everything's pretty basic right 
So we've got metal, dirt, coal. Uh, yeah, basically dirt, metal, and coal is the only resources I'm really seeing right now. And then there's like bedrock. Of course, we can't build outside of that area. Neato. This is super cool. I'm actually, I'm, I'm like really curious to, to see how this is going to go. All right. She's going to go back to suffering and we're going to get up to 400 suffering and hopefully finish our, uh, finish our deal here. I guess we could probably go ahead and get another build tortures. Can we get another one of these? We'll get another one and we'll have this guy going, <laughs> go in there. I'm just trying to get this done as quick as possible. I mean, actually it looks like it's going to get done pretty quick anyways. So, but Hey, you never know. There and uh, people add. There we go. All right, doubling up our suffering now. Very nice, very nice. To pass it, build the forbidden fruit. Oh, we're done it. We've done it. We're ready. Place the last build. Uh, basic food, drink, rest, decoration, torture, basic the forbidden fruit. One of the very few gifts from heaven. Build the forbidden fruit right there. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I'm ready for this. Now, you know what makes, you know what helps make this game go a little bit by a little bit faster? Just think of all these people as like the worst people in the world, you know? You got like, you know, you got your Hitlers and your, your rapists and you got the, the, the nasty people. You know what I mean? You got the worst people in the world. That's who you're here. <laughs> That's the game. <laughs> then you don't feel so bad about these people getting suffered in a Iron Maiden. It's like, no, they deserve it. Okay. Uh, so we need to get this built, but we don't have, okay. Can I, no, um, let's go ahead and turn you off. Yeah. Go, uh, go build that. Go build the forbidden fruit. So I don't even know what that does though. Was that a torture? That was a basic, wasn't it? Oh, this requires zero. That requires zero. This requires 400. Oh, I see. That's what the suffering's for. Got it. You made it. There it is. I, have to admit, I was skeptical about you, but you did the job. The forbidden fruit. So what can I say? My congratulations, rookie. Thanks. All right. So now we have the, it looks like everything paused. Oh, that's right. There's a speed. So we got the forbidden fruit. That is awesome. What does this thing do? You can't do that. What does this do? It doesn't say anything. I guess it's just a, uh, a thing to have. I don't know. Cool. Cool. All right. Well, um, quit to main menu because we've already done the tutorial. It is time for the prologue. This here is your first serious task. Uh, Beezlebub wants a statue of himself built and he's going to get one. If you're as capable as they say you are, there should be no problems. Even if there are, you will come through. Is that clear? Great. Hail Beezlebub. <laughs> All right. Um, should we go ahead and start it? Let's go ahead and start it. We're going to make it hell status. Oh. Hello. There we go. All right. So here we are in our first thing. And you know what? Looking at the map, this is already different. So right here, I'm guessing where's the, is where the statue is going to go. And looking around, what do you know? We got these things. Um, Not everything can be dug up. Example this. A structure blocker. What is this? The fat man number two. <laughs> Uh, structure blocker. So are these just things like, hey, you can't build, you can't touch these things? I mean, I guess, right? Those look like holy books. And you wouldn't want to touch those in hell. So, uh, okay, super cool, super cool. So, 
Let's go ahead. Shadows keep coming, so we have to we keep, have to keep building. building. The suffering must, must flow. flow. There are rumors that you have a chance there to prove yourself with a big new project, but let's start off with something a little bit less ambitious. Gather the resources, Gather resources and build an Iron Maiden. Hey, Got it. Okay. Master. I'm Bob, your assistant imp, here to help you oh. in your hellish endeavors. Thank you, assistant imp. The construction of this monument. Check Got the it. panel to see the amount of suffering. Yes. In the meantime, if you need to, you can all. Uh, we already played this tutorial. We know how to do this. We know what we're doing now. All right, so let's bring this out that way. And we're going to need to hit probably some of this stuff too. Grab those, grab that. Make our way out to here. Grab some of all of this. All right, we'll let them do their thing. And then, uh, yeah, then we'll get uh, we'll get some of the basic stuff going here. Okay, so we need to get an Iron Maiden in here. So let's go ahead and build torture. We are still missing some more metal. Bath of Kings, a furnace, a freezer. What? Oh my gosh, there's all kinds of amazing, super creepy things in here. Um, we got all this. Oh, mushroom farm. Drink. Do we have any other stuff? Oh, a field kitchen, a food truck. Drink, water, excuse me, metal bucket, water purifier, drink dispenser, rest. We've got a paper box and a bed. <laughs> this is super cool. This is so much fun. I like the base. I like the building aspect of it. The building aspect's pretty fun. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's get our beginning suffering going here. Uh, we're going to build basic. We're going to build some floors to start with. We're going to build those right here. Uh, and then we're going to throw some ladders up. Like that, and we'll put uh, we'll put our beginning stuff right here. Um, now I do want to build down. I want to get like build down through this, so we have a ladder going down into here, so we have this area to work with, and then we can you know go from there too. Actually, should I just go ahead and set that up now? No, because we probably need to get all the other stuff going first. Yeah, I think we need to get all the other stuff going first. Because we need to get their, you know, the, the needs, the food, the drink, the, the sleep, all that fun stuff. We need to get all that in here. Tortures. Iron Maiden, that's going to go there. Basically, like I did in the tutorial. And then we're going to get, uh, you know, stuff over here for sleeping and for the, the latrines and all that fun stuff. Listen up, little worm. Oh, hello. I'm Lilith, mother of demons. Oh, it's Lilith. And head of Hell's HR department. Okay, you can address, you can address me as your unholy as your highness. unholy highness. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Our evil lord, Beelzebub, wants us to build a monument to his wonderful... Beelzebub? Wickedness. So get cracking. Okay. Um, let's see. The base on which Beezel, on which the statue will be supposed to stand, 360 minutes to build? Okay, cool. Got it. Well, we can't build that now, so. Uh, I'm sorry. You're gonna have to just you're just gonna have to wait. But we can build some more floors. Let's go ahead and get those built. And then uh build basic. Get some ladders in here. And then we also need to build uh drink. We need to get latrine. Let's get one there, one there, and then water squeezer. Right there. Okay. So we'll do those. That looks good. Let them do their things. Hopefully we have enough for all that. I don't know that we're actually going to, though. Uh, so we'll have to see. We need to get down here, especially with all that metal right there. I'm actually going to go ahead and dig that. Then we're going to build. I want to build it like all in here. So we'll have to see how this goes. No resources. That's okay. Don't really need resources yet. Um, Rest. Do we have the stuff for coal and dirt? Yeah, we do have a little bit of that. Okay, let's get, uh, let's get like two paper boxes in here. I like to have at least two of everything just in case there's like, you know, we have two things at one time that, you know, two people need both of the things at one time. So. Oh, holy moly. Um, they're going to need more uh, ladders in here for sure. Uh, ladder. Yeah. There you go, buds. Okay, cool. So that's going to allow us to get down here. Look at that. We can harvest all that resource right there. Ooh, it's going to be nice. It's going to be nice like that. This. 
Oh yeah, that's gonna be perfect. Uh, I guess we can go ahead and start getting somebody in here. Yeah, we'll get somebody in there. And then we need to get a farm going. Let's actually dig out those. And we'll dig out this area. And then we'll put a farm in here. Yeah, that'll work. And we'll throw a ladder basically down in here. Okay, so that's going to go there. And then let's see, build food. We're going to need a meat farm, but we're going to need a lot of dirt. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to queue up a whole bunch of stuff, digging stuff down here so we can get some dirt. We can get some resources like, you know, going for us. Can they, they can get across that. Surely they can. All right, dig. Um, let's go and bring it down to here. And then basically all of this and all of that. Actually here, let's cancel those. We'll do one row at a time. <laughs> Everything's going nicely. Look at them go. Oh, they're so good. Okay, uh, so build food. Do we have the stuff we need for this? Heck yes, we do. So we'll build that right there. Build, uh, let's see, food. Then we need a cauldron and a trough. So let's put the cauldron. So we can put a farm there. We can put a farm there. We can put the cauldron there. And then the trough. Build food. Uh, trough. Where can we put that? Maybe like right there. That's a that's a decent spot. We can deal with that. So we're gonna put a living farm there. We'll have our cauldron there. We'll have a trough there. So we've got food. Oh, water, 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 water. Uh, because we got the uh, we got that thing. We got the water squeezer, but we don't have the bucket. So I guess we'll put that right there for now. And then that's food, water, sleep, and suffering kind of done. And then we also need to get uh, people assigned to these things, but this has no resources, so. Um, I don't know if people will automatically go to these or not. I'm kind of curious to see if they will. Because everything says no resources right now, but that's all right. Okay, so he's going to the bathroom. Uh, that just worked, so now it's yellow. Are you going to go? Okay, so you're going to go to the bathroom. But do I have to assign somebody here? I probably have to. I probably actually have to assign somebody. I don't think it'll automatically do it. Will it? No, they're going to go down here to mine. All right, so let's go ahead and let's throw a center on there. We'll throw a center on there. That'll give us the food and water. And then we have, how many centers do we have? Five, so one, two, three, two centers we'll be digging. Awesome. Let's just keep digging this out, shall we? You know, can we get another food farm in here? Let's get another one of those going. I guess we don't even need it. Yeah, I don't even think we need that much. <laughs> I don't think we do that much. I think we're doing pretty good. Because uh, we have to wait till we get so many centers anyway, so. I'm just utilizing the time that I have to uh, basically be digging stuff out and kind of like laying out a plan here. Because I don't know. I have no idea what kind of plan we're going to be building here. I like keeping things symmetrical. Now, is that going to work? I have no idea. Um, I guess we can go ahead. Let's do some more building. Let's get some more ladders on here. I think we're just going to build straight up like this oops i accidentally hit a button like that and i think we're gonna throw another um set of deals like on here and on here oh not enough resources well son of a gun we better get this dug out too let's see make sure that this is all being dug through and then we'll go ahead and dig that all out and then basically all of that can be dug out too. So heck yes. No resources. Oh, that's right. The food requires dirt. We gotta make sure we're not hitting the the hitting the dirt here. Okay, well since you guys don't have any resources, you guys can uh wait, where's the how do I can I disable the person? 
thought I could disable the person. Oh, wait, I'm talking. I hit her. I didn't hit the cauldron. Uh, yeah, you can go away. Oh, holy moly. They have a shovel taped to another shovel to get that one. What? They can reach super far. Okay, see, that's looking pretty good. Uh, and I'll go ahead and get these up here. So let's see this one. Yep. Not enough resources. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so this is, look at that. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. So I think what we're going to have to do, because dirt is like a resource that we need really, really heavily right now. Um, and I kind of want to actually see here, food-wise. Mushroom farm. Who doesn't like puffins in mold sauce? What is the information on this? I'm curious to like, because I'd like to see what it required to, uh, like, what it, what is its demands? What does it need in order to function? You know what I mean? So am I going to always have to worry about dirt? Or is, like, are certain things going to not require dirt to make food? You know what I mean? Or is there, is there going to be something that's going to make dirt? Because... Like eventually we're gonna run out. Like there's no, there's not an infinite supply of dirt. So I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it looks like there's a lot of dirt, but there's just not an infinite supply. So um, yeah, they're still working on this down here. And then I think what I'm gonna do is I'm probably going to, uh, I'm probably gonna queue up a huge slice over here, here, this way and this way. So we have some floors and then we'll get a whole bunch of dirt as well. So we can have that going for our farms. And uh, yeah, kind of go from there. So, oh, super excited, but that's it. That's gonna end this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is Hell Architect, the prologue. So I'll link down below if you guys wanna check it out. Like I said, uh, it is a different type of game. It's kind of weird. But if you look past the whole uh, <laughs> hell thing, <laughs> it's kind of interesting. It's kind of interesting. It seems like a, uh, it seems like an oxygen not included-esque type game. And I think I'm going to like this one a little bit better than Auction Not Included. And the only reason for that is because I'm not very good at Auction Not Included because you have all the gases and you have to deal with all that. Whereas this one looks like it's pretty much just base building food, water, and suffering. Um, yeah, so I'm super excited. I am super excited. But yeah, thank you so much for coming out. If you want to see more, make sure you leave a like on the video if you're new here. Don't forget to subscribe as well for some more as well. And next episode, I don't know. There will be a next episode. I want to play this at least once more. I want to play this again uh, because I want to do more things. So we're definitely going to have another episode for sure. So, yeah, we'll see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for coming out. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye, everybody.